everyone, it's Jamie here. I'm a sacred money sorceress and today I want to share with you guys how custom money affirmations can increase your cash flow. This is such an amazing and effective way to expand your money set point and increase more money into your life and it's a resource that's available to everyone. It doesn't matter where you are in your life. You can definitely find affirmations online or you can create them. And I find this to be so incredibly powerful because of how flexible money affirmations are. I actually use them as an internal compass for myself and it's a beautiful way to really embrace the fluidity of where we are in our lives at any given moment. So what I mean by that is when I first started my money journey, I had a lot of blocks and I had a lot of people tell me, recite this money affirmation. And it just it never really resonated. Like I felt a lot of resistance around it and I realized it's because I was out of alignment with it. Now, affirmations are really subjective in their experiences, I believe because of how it's being utilized. There's a lot of information that reveals how incredibly effective it is to use affirmations, which is basically to say something, repeat it over and over and over enough times that it starts to saturate your subconscious mind and you start to embody this new belief. And the thing about the subconscious mind is you can't take things out, but you can pour things into it. And so if you tell yourself enough things, you start to adopt this new empowering belief system. And that's such a beautiful idea. And it's something that a lot of people have gotten tremendous results over. And then there are people who haven't. And everyone's different. So how you respond is based on who you are. If some people can, can be receptive to it and other people, when they don't find that it's believable, they don't internalize it and there's just a lot of resistance that comes up and if there's resistance that comes up you're not able to get the benefits out of affirmations or anything for that matter when you're manifesting whether it's money opportunities love a successful business whatever it is if there's resistance then you're not going you're going to block whatever is already there that's waiting for you to embrace it right and so much in this it's the same rules apply with affirmations and so when you're, this is why I recommend custom money affirmations and a way that I do that I highly recommend. It's a great way for you to get to know yourself on a deeper level is to write a list of affirmations and break them down into three different categories. Have a good, better and best category of money affirmations. Okay. So this is affirmations that have a variety of different um, levels of intensity. Sometimes you're feeling really shitty and it's like all you want is a hug. You don't want someone to tell you that everything's going to be okay. You just want to be comforted. You know, you just want to be soothed. Those would be money affirmations that would go under good. You know, they're like the bare minimum. You know, it's like you just, you want to be able to breathe, but you don't want anything too extra. And then the better affirmations, it's sort of the equivalent of like when you're really upset and you want to get into a better space, but all you can bring yourself to do metaphorically is to crawl. Those are like the good affirmations, you know, things that feel believable, things that feel safe. These are the money affirmations that are great to recite when you want to soothe your nervous system because you're in this like flight mode and you just, you can't, you want to shift out of this like, I can't do anything to feeling safe so that you want to start making movements. Those are the good categories. And then under the better categories is like maybe you're walking, you know, you're moving forward. There's more of a stride and you feel good, you know, and you're pushing yourself just a little bit out of your comfort zone, but you still feel like you're in control right? Um, you're still on foot. And then the best money affirmation categories are the ones that are just exhilarating. They're stimulating. They seem really audacious. And you, it, you, these are the affirmations that work really well when you feel alive and empowered and you want something stimulating and exciting. You know, um, we're at different places in our lives and it's important to use the money affirmations that feel aligned to us. If you label your 
financial situation or your beliefs as bad, then you're going to block it and then you're not going to be able to move forward, right? And this is why the good and better affirmations are amazing. You know, but you don't want to just stick with that because if you want to be here and you're here, you know, maybe hearing the affirmations here isn't enough for you because you're here and you can't connect to that. So maybe just start here and get closer and closer. And other times, maybe you just want to jump over to being right here. It doesn't matter what you feel aligned to doing. What's important is to honor whatever you feel. And when you create these custom money affirmations, either by writing your own or looking at them online and picking ones that feel safe, that's pushing you a little bit and something that's just like super daring and bold, you literally have this amazing reference point for you to check in with yourself. Experiment with these affirmations and see what feels aligned to you. Maybe you feel really good and you want to be like bold. You know, other times you may not feel that. Whatever it is, it's okay, but you want to get to that place where you give yourself permission. And a lot of times I feel like people pick the affirmation that they see. You know, the affirmation that people tell you to do. Not so much, is this the money affirmation that feels truly aligned to me at this given moment in time? And each of us are doing the best that we can. When we learn things from other people, we're basically trying to find the puzzle pieces that other people have, and we try to see if it fits with our spiritual values, right? And so much in the same way, try to create that with your money affirmations. This is so absolutely amazing because like I said, you are literally understanding yourself on a deeper level. You're taking this simple and effective approach to get to know yourself and create this inner compass. It's so worth taking this time. And as you grow and as you evolve, your good, better, and best money affirmations are going to continue to expand too. This is so, so huge. Oftentimes, there's so much stigma about, you know, um, move forward from where you are because you want to, you know, you want to look to the future. And that's true. But in order to, to be able to move forward, we have to accept and understand and embrace and embody where we are. This is a great way to do that, to feel good, to give ourselves permission. If you feel that you want to be and are worthy to be up here, but your, your, your money set point is below, this is the amount of money that you feel that the most amount that you are on some subconscious level deserving of versus, you know, the quality of service that you provide, they may not be um, aligned and that's okay. And a lot of times I've, I've seen so many people and I've worked with coaches personally who are like, that's not a good um, amount of money to charge. You're worth so much more. You should charge more. And I found that when I actually charge where I feel aligned, I can, once I feel like, a, like once I feel good in that space, once I feel safe in that space, I can get to this point or higher, but I have to accept where I am. And I think that the people who struggle the most with money blocks are the ones that aren't at peace with where they are. And also when you don't have clarity and I get the whole track your money and I stand by that. But if it's bringing you this sense of stress, then you're not going to do it. You know, whereas affirmations, they're simple, they're appealing. I feel like it's the prerequisite steps that will make it more inviting to do the other soul work that seems intimidating. Um, and I think that this is a really important element. So try it out. Let me know what you think. And I'd love for you guys to comment with some of your favorite money affirmations. What are the ones that have absolutely transformed you? And if you feel aligned to it, I would love to see your list of good, better, and best money affirmations. Customize them to who you are and what works for you. You know, what's aligned for one person isn't aligned for another, and that's okay. The key here is to tune into what works for you. All right? Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.